here we go. Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. So as you can see by the title name, I know, just a round of applause for me. I have officially been accepted into college. <sighs> okay, the college that I've been accepted to is my number two. I'm still waiting to hear from my number one, but still like, I feel like this is a pretty good accomplishment that I've been accepted into college. So I thought it would be a good idea if I kind of shared my wisdom from all my years in high school, three and a half so far, almost done with the last half. I'm in my final semester of high school. <sighs> so yeah, I have some high school tips for you. I have both like academic and social tips, social tips, <laughs> like social, you know, everything else that's not academic. I have tips for that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's get on the video. So my first academic tip for you is AP classes. Now, my school is kind of weird in the way that they do AP classes. I wasn't actually offered AP classes until my junior year in high school. So currently I have four AP classes under my belt and right now I'm taking like an ACC college class. Okay, it's one. Do not disturb, why is it disturbing me? Yeah, so I have taken four AP classes and let me tell you, they're not easy. AP classes are not easy because they're college classes. So like, why would they make a college class easy in high school, you know? But at the same time, it is still a free college class that looks good on your transcript. Cause at the end of a AP class, you have to take the AP test to get credit in college. So for one of my tests, I got a four. So no matter where I go, I'm definitely getting credit for that class. And another test, I got a three, which is kind of differs between schools. Like some schools accept threes, some schools accept fours. And then on my other one, I got a two. For my last AP class, I don't think I'm going to take the test just because I'm a senior and I kind of just want to relax. My last semester of high school but at the same time it kind of grew me as a person like in all my AP classes just because I was challenging myself because I like to think I'm like a bright you know smart person I'm sure there are other people who think that well, they can do it academically so a I think AP classes are good for college and B I think it's just good for building your character as well and building human aspects you know you get to discover your struggles <laughs> you get to like it's a privilege you're building yourself as a human and as a character so i think it's just it's good overall i mean i feel like having a 4.0 with all easy classes is not as impressive as having you know a lower gpa but it really showed that you challenge yourself so in my opinion that's what looks good on college or for college so okay my next tip is obvious but just study. I mean, do your homework, study when you need to, you know, just make good decisions when it comes to, you know, knowing your classes and knowing the material in your classes, because ultimately getting better grades is what will help you get into college. Obviously, you can achieve your dreams without going to college. I'm not saying that without studying hard, you know, you can't achieve what you want to achieve. But I mean, if you want to go to college, you kind of have to study. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> The next thing is to be serious about reading and writing. I mean, reading and writing is literally in everything. All your classes will involve reading or writing. Okay, maybe exception for math, but everything else involves reading and writing. Especially if you're taking AP classes, a lot of times you'll have to write an essay, you'll have to read passages, like I think just developing that skill as much as you can will really help you succeed in passing AP tests and um, you know your classes overall. If you have good essays, like you'll be pretty good at the class and you'll be pretty good on the test. And then especially when it comes to college essays, I don't think my college essay was the best but I was taking an AP Lang class while I was writing my college essay, so I probably did better than what I would have if I didn't take that AP Lang class and I didn't work on my writing as much as I did in that class. So write essays and read passages. That's how you get better. You were even like read books. Like I'm not the biggest fan of reading books, but I'm really pushing myself. Like I took an AP Lit class last semester and that kind of re-inspired me to read books. Okay, my next tip for you will probably help you pay attention in class because you will learn so much more in class if you're present in class versus just catching up on the homework or just catching up with a tutor or you know somewhere else. Obviously, if you need a tutor, go ahead and use a tutor, but I feel like if your mindset in class is to be focused and to be 
you know, actually, you know, trying to understand the material, you'll be so much better off in getting good grades. I feel like a lot of people today are complaining about bad teachers and not teaching, which there are teachers who don't teach. I've definitely experienced people who don't teach. But at the same time, like teachers are hired for a reason. So obviously every teacher isn't a bad teacher. And I mean, who's really bad? Is it the bad student or the bad teacher? So I think just don't be a bad student. Like I have had my days where, you know, I goof off in class and like sometimes I just can't handle it. So I'll just slack off a little bit. But keeping that work ethic consistent is really what will help you you know, maintain your grades and you won't be as lost in class if you're present in class, if that makes sense. Being present includes like asking for help, you know, like just trying to understand whatever it is. Like right now I'm in math and we're learning about imaginary numbers. Um, yeah, I know for some people you feel like, I didn't even know like that you learned about imaginary numbers in math. Well, you do in college algebra. But like we're working today and I'm taking notes, I'm asking questions, I'm doing the problems and that's what being present in class is instead of, you know, just laughing with your friend the entire time which i mean i still do i still have fun in my class but i still keep learning as a number one priority i sound so much like just like a teacher right now i'm sorry if i sound so like uncool right now but seriously school is so important um so yeah just take what i'm saying you know to whatever degree you want just make it a priority i guess is what i'm trying to say okay that is it for my academic tips now i'm gonna seem co cooler now i'm gonna talk about social tips with your friends and with the social scene in high school because I mean, if I'm being honest, that is probably the second most important part of high school is your social connections that you make and, you know, building yourself as a character even more. Okay, my first tip on here is just relax. Not every little thing is as important as it seems. So don't pay attention to trivial things. Really think big picture and you'll be good to go. You'll be more chill. You won't be as stressed out all the time. Don't get me wrong, stress is good sometimes, but like being stressed all the time is just not healthy. Being in high school is a very small part of your life, but you only get it once. So really just try to have fun. Don't worry as much as you think you should about little things because little things will not affect your future. The way you react to the little things is what affects your future. Wisdom, I mean. Okay, so these next two tips are kind of blended together. So we're gonna just say it all at once. I'm gonna say this once. You don't have to agree with me, but you should. Popularity should not be your number one priority. Popular can mean really different things in different places like at my school, it's really just like a big friend group that everyone knows who they are and, um, you know, they just have a big group of friends and a lot of them are attractive and pretty and athletes and cheerleaders or whatever. Being part of that group should not be your number one priority. Your number one priority should be making friends who enjoy your company and you enjoy their company and aren't snakes and aren't toxic and help you and support you. You support them and you generally, and generally, genuinely enjoy their company. If it just so happens that you are popular and you have great friends, then who cares? Who really cares if you're popular or not, you know? I guess, I don't, I don't think I'm popular. I don't know. At the same time, I don't disrespect anyone who is popular. It's hard not to acknowledge that, you know, there's always gonna be a group of friends we're just it, you know, just just the popular group. It always happens. But at the same time, it's like, how does that affect you? You know, you're the one that decides if they affect you or not. And personally, I don't think it should. Like, you just do you, they do them, and everyone lives a good life. Everyone is just happy and living their best life. Again, like, don't make becoming part of that friend group your number one priority. Because literally, it only lasts for four years, and everyone goes their separate ways and then it doesn't matter at all. Obviously in high school, there are a lot of relationships that bloom and you know, stuff like sex and whatever is starting to come up and you know, become more real in high school. So I think the biggest thing when it comes to relationships in your personal life is that you never look for a boy boyfriend or a girlfriend. Don't be desperate and like look for one. I mean, if you wanna have fun, have fun. But like, if you're looking for a relationship, don't, you know, be desperate. Don't actually like, look for it. I think it's important to be 
an independent person before you enter a relationship. So if you're not, you know, work on yourself and, you know, people will gravitate towards you when you're more confident about yourself, when you're, you know, just living, doing you, when you're doing you and you're confident with whatever you're doing, a boyfriend or girlfriend will just come to you. You know, it's more likely that people will gravitate towards you when you are okay with yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Relationships are tricky and they're really freaking hard to explain. Not everyone will have great relationships in high school. Not everyone will even get a relationship in high school. Like I don't, I never had a serious boyfriend in high school. You know, I'm constantly working on myself and I'm constantly building me. I'm working on me. That's my number one priority over getting a boyfriend. Okay, moving on, because that was torture. This is the biggest tip I have for you guys. High school is a time of mistakes. You are going to make so many mistakes in high school. Maybe it's like a mistake with a guy or a mistake with a friend. Maybe a mistake, you know, drinking or doing drugs or whatever. I'm telling you, make those mistakes now so then you can learn from them and then take that wisdom into your next chapter in your life. Make your mistakes now before you just can't afford to in the future. That makes sense. This is so hard. This is why I don't give advice because I'm like, oh, I don't have enough words in my word bank to like explain everything. But um, I hope these tips make sense. You know, if they don't, just tell me in the comments. Be like, Lindsay, what the heck are you trying to say? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped somewhat. I have officially been accepted into college but you know nothing's planned in my life i'm still in high school still making mistakes i'm sure this video was a mistake but you know we're just gonna go with it so yeah i hope you guys like this new setup as you can see in the last video i just flipped my room around so now my window's out there and i'm sitting on my bed and it's just better lighting for everyone yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this wasn't too confusing see you guys next time I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you.